Uh, Adapted TV bringing you to Forest Lake. As you can see, we've got a deck to be installed. Um, this is day three. You can see what we're trying to achieve here. We've got what looks to be about a five by ten meter deck. Um, we're also uh, what was existing here. Hey, Lenny, can you pass me a hammer, mate? <laughs> Um, we've got um, two were, were existing windows, we've uh, removed those and uh, we're going to knock these series of studs out to put a, a big double sliding door and then we're going to get a, a flyover roof over the top which is going to cover the deck. So we're going to have quite a lot of things happening here in the next few, few days but uh, it's going to be a nice little area over the swimming pool. So. Better get Andy's hammer and uh, get back to it. We've just discovered that there's been a few termites in the area. That's, uh, that's what termites do to certain property. You can see that's, it's not real damage, but uh, it's certainly been affected with uh, other parts of the house. Like that. That's, uh, that's why the... Uh, in uh, our steel frame decks. There's no way that uh, termites are going to eat through that. So we're in Forest Lake. It's a, it's a well-known area for termites. So steel frame, definitely the way. And that brings us to another end of Adapted TV. That's all, folks. <laughs> that worked awesome. Did it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't hit stop in time. The uh, transformation that's going ahead here. We've ripped out all the bottom plate studs, window heads, all sorts, and we replaced it with a massive 300 mil beam. Which took the uh, took the weight off this prop here. Yeah. So we you can see how we um, we did have four props temporarily suspending a piece of RHS that was holding up the roof whilst we uh, knocked studs and everything out, and now we've. Uh, Got the beam in there, that's now taking the weight of the roof. You can see that's nice and loose up against the roof, so it's all nice and sturdy. That beam's spanning that quite easily. And uh, we just gotta put a few few more extra studs in and then we will have uh, have to put the door in. So uh, hopefully later today we'll have um, the door installed for you. We're all ready to go for the door. Just sort of show you the framework before we cover it all up. The cyclone straps are all nice and secured onto our beam and uh, all ready to go on this side here and we've got our watertight flashing there we've just got to fold that where that concrete is there it'll fold down like this and the door will sit on top of that so should all be watertight even though we're putting a flyover roof there it's always good to make sure you have it watertight and uh, we're going to install the door. As you can see, progress has happened regarding the door. It's been installed, fits quite nicely. Right in up against where the existing window was spudding up before, up that side and that side. Uh, we'll have to fill in the gaps where we had to knock the brickwork down a bit. We'll just fix that with a bit of render and also along what now is the sill. That'll get a little bit of render to neaten it up and uh, a bit of quad and a bit of paint to fix where the old brickwork was there. Um, progress has been for today. We've got three massive 140 by 140 posts installed and we've started putting our decking on. A uh, new product that we're using is a clever clip system and you can see what Andy's screwing down here. It's a series of, it's like a metal metal like spikes I'll zoom in right in there you can see there's two two little sprigs there and there and they clip we've got as you can probably see down in here they clip into the side of the groove on the mod wood there so it clips in nice and tight um, I'll show you and it's quite easy to install I've got one set up ready to go here 
as you can that's just loosely sitting on top there I'll get Andy to hold the camera and uh, it's just a matter of stepping on the stepping on the board and it clips in and that's all you have to do so um, yeah we'll uh, keep doing that until it's all done also Dame is putting in the, the stump post for the fly over roof the boys have been productive over the last couple of days we've got a, a roof lovely uh, insulated 75 mil sheets We've also uh, got a new product, the Stratco Downlights. We've got a series of those everywhere. We'll crank them up later on. They're really, really bright, real good new product. So uh, we'll have them on the show. You can see a fan. Sparky's here installing all the electrical work. The boys installing. We've got semi frameless glass with uh, posts attached to there, the middle, and there. Nice and solid. Looks quite nice. We'll clean that up, obviously, and uh, be very nice. Uh, inside, we're just being just done the first coat of plaster, and uh, we're going to put the cornice and the architrave around the door as well, and the skirting. The deck's been finished, looking nice. As you can see, no nails anywhere, and uh, yeah, we'll have a finished product in the next day. Final episode of. Adapt the TV over at Forest Lake. Everything is all 100% complete here. We've got the um, blue board wall that has now been rendered with the screens up top. They're rendered and painted, lovely job. And we'll just duck around the, the front here. You'll be able to see that the um, everything is all finished. It's got the roof, the lights, <coughs> all the modwood deck. <coughs> Fascia board, glass balustrading, all the furniture and everything's in there as well. So, all 110% complete. <clears throat> Another magnificent job. Installed, designed, constructed by Adaptive Group. It's GK signing out for one last time at Forest Lake.